but he found a spot of gold, consequently came Gibbons. And when they broke up, it was him that was given. That we like to build him up, but we love to see him fall. Finally taken down by your hooker by the fall. Got to the breeze. Was a fool. And now he's using this case as a publicity tool So we we'll down to the south, meet the prison staff The first thing they do, they, they want his autograph He and I just laugh cause he suffered the rap Now a man at a time through his liberty cup Got us to the free Say they got us to the free, yeah Say they got us to the free Chris, you got yeah, this song that we heard also, Iron Mike. Definitely. I'm yeah. a huge boxing fan, and I sort of abuse these guys with all my <laughs> sports references and things like that. So uh, it definitely has its origin in boxing. Sugar Ray, the name. Sugar Ray Leonard, the Olympic champion, and things like that. And um, a place where we rehearsed for our record was owned by Sugar Ray Robinson, who was the first Sugar Ray. It was owned by his ex-business manager, so it was sort of a bit of fate by naming the band Sugar Ray. He had to be quite old then, that owner, I mean. Oh, he was like the, yeah, he was he was 80, like the old guy in he was like, get out of here, you chicken asses. And he was like one of those old guys, but uh, it was cool, it was quite a character, so we decided to take the name Sugar yeah. Ray. But it does have its origins in boxing. But you seem to have other interests also, at, at interests. least the bands. What about this streaking? Uh, well, that's our, a drummer. Stan tends to get uh, have a few of these, and um, sometimes he just gets caught up in the moment. And he tends to take all his clothes off and run around naked, and it's really quite a sight. It's very funny. But he's uh, had some problems in our hometown with being arrested and stuff like that because oh, yeah. you know it's a conservative area, and the cops kind of come down on him. But it's funnier than hell. I mean, 
There's nothing funnier than a grown man running through a bar naked. It's, it's you know, good. It's, be a grown it's up innocent girl, fun. Right, you know? Exactly. Or a grown up girl would be better, I guess. No one gets hurt. It's, it's all in good fun. And we all are prone to it in subject. But you know, it's, it's forbidden with pro boxing in Sweden. And I'm quite sure that streaking is forbidden as well. Yeah, I'm sure it is. But Sweden? Oh, hell. It's too, it's too cold here to do that. Anyway. It yeah. is too cold. Yeah. God. What about you, you live together still, the whole band, or? Yeah. yeah. How come? I mean, uh, just we don't for, I think, each other. probably for convenience sake, you know, so we yeah. can all get in touch with each other when we need to. And uh, it, it works out good. Next thing for the breakfast. Exactly. <laughs> you have to go search for it. See, but um, it made writing the record a lot easier, yeah. you know. Um, we're from a town called Newport Beach, California, and it's about a half hour south of LA. So we decided to move to Los Angeles and sort of get in the mix where the studios are and like the record company is. So uh, it just facilitated things in, in terms of the recording process and uh, just getting tighter as a band and writing songs and things. And plus, it's fun to live in LA. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. What about your neighbors? They yeah, think they it's haven't fun kicked also. us out. Yeah, they've, they've been trying. Actually, they oh. we're. We're going home Sunday. The truth, come and on. I, I think we're going to be, well, we are evicted, it's just when they physically when, yeah. come to remove us out of there. But it's a bummer because it's a real nice, it's a nice place. It's like an old, dilapidated, like, mansion. It's got a bunch of rooms, so it gets a little cramped. You know, we do get sick of each other and stuff like that, but we have our own rooms to retreat to. And, you know, there's always someone partying, there's always someone sleeping, so it's crazy, but it's a lot of fun. We're going to try to stay as long as we can. As know. long as the neighborhood decides to kick you out. Well, they're, they're, they've already decided we're out. It's just when they physically, the sheriffs come and remove us out of there, so. There, there is a funny story. When you, when you uh, gave your tape, the original tape from Lemonade and Brownies, yes. to the record company, you didn't really post it and mailed it to them. No. What happened? Well, the thing is, we got signed on the East Coast in New York, and uh, we're based in L.A., so we really didn't have much contact with the um, the L.A. office of Atlantic Records, which is what we're on in the yeah. States. And um, so, you know, they sort of left us to our own devices when we made the record, and um, we, we just... To let them know what they were going to be dealing with with Sugar Ray, we go let's let's present the record to them in a, you know in a unique way. So, you know, we started drinking, we got all wasted, and we completely you know got naked again and yeah. used like jock straps. I don't know what you guys call them here. We had football, American football helmets on and uh, combat boots, and we stormed into the office and just like we were like we we're just chanting and like maniacs, like and military we, style. We threw the CD, you know, our our dad of the CD, which is became Lemonade and Brownies at the A and R guy there, and we just marched out and didn't say a word. And, <laughs> It was pretty. It was a pretty amazing impression. When we got home, like five minutes later, there was like ten mach an, uh, messages on our answer machine already, and <laughs> it just it left quite an impression. I mean, this was like a year and a half ago, and we're still talking about it. And you read about it in press and yeah. stuff, and it, it was it was cool. It was a good way to let them know what they're dealing with. with will we will we see you again in Sweden this summer? This summer, yeah, um, we're gonna play some of the festivals at the end of you can June. Can tell the audience so that they know. Oh know yeah, where you are. There, there you are. There you turkeys. Yeah. Are. <laughs> um, at the end of June and July, we'll be back in uh, Sweden to play some festivals and probably some dates. I'm not sure which ones yet, but uh, we're definitely gonna spread ourselves thin everywhere. Yeah. So uh, we're looking forward to that. Me too. Yeah. Thank you so much. So. Thank you very much for having Kick us. Kick ass. Take care. Right, later on. <laughs> Bye.